Back in 2015, Mad Max Fury Road certainly blew me away. We got our first introduction to the character Furiosa as played by Charlize Theron, to the point leading to many people saying that the film actually sidelined the main character Max in his own movie. I did think the movie was fantastic overall, and the fact that Tom Hardy had replaced Mel Gibson, who had played the character a previous three times in the past, didn't bother me. The film really stood out visually, and I think it worked so well, and I think a lot of people have said in the past that Mad Max Fury Road on paper shouldn't work. If you got a script of Mad Max Fury Road and how it looked, you'd probably say it was unmakeable. The fact that George Miller was able to pull it off, and even to the point that Tom Hardy was having regrets about joining production, it's only after when he saw the final product that he apologised to the director for it being an absolute masterpiece. And there had been some talk for a while that Tom Hardy was going to return to play the role again as Mad Max in another movie titled Mad Max The Wasteland, although that never came to pass. There was some issues between Warner Brothers and the director George Miller over residual payments, but clearly that got sorted in some way, but George Miller has decided to go down a different path and do this spin-off featuring the character Furiosa. However, this time she's not going to be played by Charlize Theron. This is going to be a prequel with the character, and she's been replaced with the younger Anna Taylor-Joy. People have commented that they would have liked to have seen Charlize Theron return to the role, but people have talked about the de-aging process with actors isn't quite there yet for it to work out, so casting younger was the necessary route to take if they were going to tell this prequel story. And the premise of the movie is as follows. As the world fell, young Furiosa is snatched from the green place of many mothers and falls into the hands of a great biker horde led by the warlord Dementus. Sweeping through the wasteland, they come across the citadel, presided over by Immortan Joe. While the two tyrants war for dominance, Furiosa must survive many trials as she puts together the means to find her way home. And from that premise, and if you have seen Mad Max Fury Road, you understand that the character of Furiosa, her story is going to be ended in Fury Road, at least in the terms of the premise that is given to us by the studio. But it will be certainly great to see the character grow and become this hardened warrior and this lieutenant of Immortan Joe that we see in Mad Max Fury Road. And whilst it certainly makes sense to have a lot of comparisons to what Fury Road was, I do worry that it may be too much of a carbon copy, whereas Fury Road was this two-hour chase sequence that worked really well. I do hope they lean away from that a bit more. Obviously, a lot of the characters are going to tie into that story later on, but I do want to see something a bit different. But obviously, if the formula that worked for Fury Road can be copied again and works out well, then great. But with films like this, I do want to see something different, so I really hope they haven't just tried to make this carbon copy of Fury Road just to cash in on the success of the last movie. I really hope they have a good story to tell, and there can be some even improvements on what we're going to see in this world that the Mad Max saga takes place in. A lot of the visuals do remind me a lot of Fury Road, and I think that's fantastic. That's definitely what I wanted to see from this movie. From what they've said of the premise of the film, and Furiosa is kidnapped from the Green Place, and then we find out what happens later in Fury Road. I don't want to spoil that film in case you haven't seen it, but like the events of this film will lead not directly into the events of Fury Road, but... I don't think all the resolution of Furiosa's story is going to play out in this film alone, because obviously if you've seen Fury Road, she has a different story to tell. One thing that has been pointed out, though, is the continuity of the Mad Max saga. George Miller has commented that he doesn't really see it as a solid timeline, and these are like legendary characters that are being talked about around the campfire, and that explains why Mad Max changes from Mel Gibson looking to Tom Hardy. And the trailer itself does show something that has confused a few people. During the events of the trailer, it does state that 45 years after the collapse, a young Furiosa is taken from her family. She will devote the rest of her life to finding her way home. This is her odyssey. And people are pointing out the fact that this takes place 45 years after the collapse, and is that the after the events of the first Mad Max film? 
or another event after society collapsed and if that's true and this takes place it's been commented that this also takes place around 15 years before the events of fury road that the timeline makes no sense so back to what george miller said this story timeline is all over the place and it kind of doesn't matter. We could even also look at this as standalone in a way. I think people have commented that each of the Mad Max movies, whilst they are sequels, they don't necessarily have a straight continuity and we could just take them as standalone stories in this world and we don't really need to understand the continuity for each film to make sense or even be enjoyable. And maybe that's what they're leaning into with this movie, and maybe it will go in a different direction and not lead into the events of Fury Road. We'll have to wait and see. But the main takeaway from watching the trailer, we do get to see a very young Furiosa who has been taken by this warlord Dementus, as played by Chris Hemsworth. It's quite funny seeing him in a prosthetic nose and doing a strong Australian accent. You may be used to seeing him portray the character of Thor. And whilst he still has the long locks and the big muscles that you're used to, just seeing him do his native accent in this movie is quite funny to me. And I think he could probably portray a very interesting villain. And he is probably the standout in the trailer for me. I think he is a bit goofy and silly, but I think that works well in this crazy world of Mad Max. He does come across more like a one of the leaders that we saw in Fury Road. And I've also heard a theory, which, sorry if this is a spoiler, but... This is only a theory, I've heard no concrete evidence or news about this, but that Dementus is actually Immortan Joe. And whilst you're saying Immortan Joe is in this trailer and you see Chris Hemsworth face off with him, the younger version of Immortan Joe is played by Tom Burke, but maybe the events of this film lead to them warring, as the premise does say they are warring with each other to be the tyrant of the wasteland, and maybe he takes over the throne from Immortan Joe and takes up the title as well. That's a theory that I've read going round, and I could see that happening, and I'm sorry if that's a big spoiler, but as I said, I don't know if that's the case, it's just what people are speculating. Uh, it could make sense, but I'll, even if that is the case, I don't think that's ruined the film for me. I do enjoy seeing the journey of these characters that they're going to take in the film. And from what we've seen in the trailer with Anna Taylor-Joy playing Furiosa, the younger version, it does look like there's a younger child version that's going to be shown maybe when she's kidnapped from the green place. And then we see Anna Taylor-Joy maybe play a teenage version and then a young adult version of the Furiosa character. We do see her with long hair in this and then eventually at the end of the trailer the more shaved head look which is associated with what we saw with Charlie's Ferron in the Mad Max Fury Road movie. And I do think we'll go through an interesting journey of Furiosa becoming this, well she starts off as this child who's been kidnapped and turns into a vicious warrior, a racer. We get to see her sort of riding motorcycles in this and that may be part of the entertainment for these troops and also the fact that she's a warrior who wars with these other factions across the wasteland. And obviously in the trailer we do see Furiosa start off with both arms and then at the end of the trailer you see her with the prosthetic arm that is featured in Mad Max Fury Road. So we're going to get that story of how she lost her arm and that's probably going to contribute more into what makes her such a badass character. Obviously though this is just a teaser trailer, we haven't got too much information on this movie Currently it's coming out in 2024 on May 24th and we don't know if it will actually hold that day. It could get, end up getting delayed a bit longer. But this is also a type of movie you want to go see at the cinema. I do remember seeing Fury Road in the cinema and I had so much fun watching it. And just I just want to see films in the cinema again that offer something different. It's not that I think a lot of people comment and I've said this in many other videos that we're oversaturated with superhero and comic book movies. And it's not that they're the problem, it's that they're just pushing out too much of that content and it's not different enough. And I think what we got with Fury Road and just the legacy we got of that universe, I would like to see more of it. And I think following the character Furiosa is a good way into expand that universe. But I hope they're just not phoning this in just to make a quick buck. And as we know at the moment, Hollywood can do this and then it completely backfires because people aren't interested. 
So I really hope that this film got made because there's a worthwhile story and it's going to give us, the audience, something we haven't seen before and something that we can go to the cinema and really enjoy and take in and it be such a memorable experience that we talk about it for years and years to come. But with what George Miller has said about the timeline, I can't really break down like the events of what's going to take place in this world. I've pointed out mostly about Chris Hemsworth character. We do get to see a Morton Joe, and we're going to see Anna Taylor Joy's Furiosa shape into the version we got in Fury Road. And whether or not they decide to go and make a sequel to this and tell Furiosa's own trilogy, I kind of think that won't happen just because we got somewhat of a conclusion to the character's arc at the end of Fury Road, but there could be more stories to tell. And it's the fact that Miller has said that these are like campfire stories, they could just expand the world or just ignore the canon events of Fury Road completely and go off in their own direction. And they could always bring Charlie's Ferron back for a sequel to this and Fury Road. And some people have commented on the CGI in this trailer, and I think we're still a few months away, so I do hope any of those problems can get ironed out. But basically, if it just looks as good as Fury Road, or even better, I think the visual effects will have been worthwhile, and I think the CGI can be fixed running up to the film's release date. But then again, if the film's good and engaging enough, you can kind of forgive bad CGI. I think people only comment on that when they feel like the story wasn't engaging and it's not believable in that world. So if you've got a good plot and something drawing people in, that doesn't often get a look in from criticism. But I do want to hear your thoughts on the trailer in the comments below. And if you noticed anything that I've not talked about or anything you want to tell me about the Mad Max timeline overall, let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.